I'm Branham Blanc from class of 2014 and you are watching PA Live. What's Brewing is presented by Crown Trophy of Little Rock. Nationally known, locally owned. Crown Trophy of Little Rock is more than awards. They can customize apparel, uniforms, giftware, and more. Crown Trophy of Little Rock is owned by a mom of three PA alums, Callie, Chris, and Carter. Visit them online at crowntrophy.com and be sure to thank them for supporting PA Live. Hello everyone, welcome to What's Brewing. I'm Joshua Carroll, joined by Coach Kelly. Last week we had a fantastic, fun little game against uh, J.A. Fair. So last time we're going to see that team. Yeah, their they're school's kind of ending its history. They're joining with McClellan and making the new Little Rock Southwest school. So we didn't know what we were going to get whenever we were going to play them because I figured they might be fighting to the bitter end. Sure. You know, that might have been their mantra, but, but our kids went in and played well. I'm excited. Uh, one of the things that I noticed that I, I thought was really interesting is J. Fair, of course, are the War Eagles, and McClellan are the Lions. Well, you take a, an eagle and a lion, you mash them together, you, you get, get a, a griffin. griffin. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. the uh, Southwest Little Rock High School will be the Griffins. It's one of the better things I've seen the Little Rock School District do. Yeah. You know, they wanted to avoid some fighting because they're worried about getting those right. two groups of kids together. Yeah. So Merging combine together. something that gives them a piece of something that they both still ownership, you know, yeah. have ownership in. It makes sense. Yeah. Well, I. Coach, during this game with J.A. Fair, I noticed that you pulled in a lot of the seniors during specific plays and had, had them actually carry the ball. That's a unique opportunity that I've seen you do that in years past, and it's fun to do. What do they think about it? You know, one of the traditions that we started a long time ago was, you know, everybody when you're growing up wants to score a touchdown. And some guys want to be receivers, quarterbacks, running backs. That's the way you score. And uh, we like to give them one opportunity as a senior. If you come through PA and you play football your senior year, we're going to give you a chance to score a touchdown. And you can, you know, it's kind of funny. We let them pick the play they want to run and what position they want to play in that play. Oh, wow. Some will want to throw the ball. Some will want to catch the ball. Most will want to run the ball because they know they're getting their one chance, you sure. know. And, uh, and that's one of, like I say, that's one of our favorite things. And the kids absolutely love it, too. So this week... Uh, the three kids that got a chance to do it were Caleb Smith, who plays left tackle for right. us on offense, Wilson Miller, who plays defensive line, and J.P. Katie. And uh, Caleb chose to run the ball. So if you see, if you watch the fair game, you'll see he ran a jet sweep, which right. is, you know, we put him in motion, handed it to him, was at full speed. And his first one, he was bobbling the ball and he fell down. Right. I usually don't give him a second chance. You got one <laughs> chance. So they get to even pick the time in the game when they want to run it, which is odd because, you know, they, they have to pick. What if we get if we if we choose from the twenty that may be too far out to score. Right. But if I wait too long, the, the offense may score anyway. Right. So he picked it at about the ten or twelve yard line. First one he fell down. I give him one more chance. He went and got to the pylon. Yeah. Referee called him out on the one. Oh. Uh, yeah. it was just, you yeah. know the kid. It was just such a breath of. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. And then uh, Wilson Miller with next trip down, he wanted to take over, and Wilson did the exact pr pretty much the, a similar play, and uh, he. Got around through there. Our guys seemed to block a little better. I might need to put those guys back there running back in a crucial situation <laughs> because everybody seemed to block a little better and give right. that one guy's chance. Looks up, and there's a guy on the goal line, and there's him running from the 10, and that's it. And I wondered what he tried to juke him, you know, because he's never carried the ball right. before. He just lowered his shoulder and ran the kid over, scored his touchdown. <laughs> Crowd goes wild. Our, 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 and then J.P., who, uh, uh, you know, is, is both another undersized guy playing defensive line, he wanted to catch a ball. Wow. And I'm like, well, you know, I'm always nervous about that because I don't want it to be throw out there, drop, play right. over, done, there's sure. your chance. Yeah. And he was adamant. That's what I wanted to do. Now, so we did it in practice and threw a tough pass for him to catch. Braden throws the ball 100 miles an hour. And it's just a step, step up, hitch pass, hope those guys are blocking and burrow it into the end zone. And Braden throws it out, and JP, the ball's coming, and I promise, if I'd seen it on video, I would think the ball was like right here. He didn't even have his hands up yet. And he shoots him up like this in practice, and I'm like, and he still snagged it. 
<laughs> well, then I used it the rest of the week. I'm like, if this kid can walk out here and never catch a ball, right? It's not that hard to catch a ball, receivers. Sure. You know, we need to be catching them all. And and uh, what I didn't know was that he was practicing like crazy, having everybody throwing balls all week for Friday night. I thought the kids caught one ball, so we go out there in the game. Same thing happens. Braden throws and it's high. Yeah. He goes up and it's coming, and he still hasn't put his hands up yet. And I'm like, is he just gonna let it go? And it catches it. Those guys block, you know, Andrew Cobb and Mason Cobb are driving their guys out of the end zone, and he gets it, and another guy comes free, hits him on the two-yard line, and I'm like, oh, it's over with. After that great catch, and he spins and burrows and drives his leg and falls into the end zone, touchdown. So so it's always fun to see, you know, to see those three guys get to do that. And, yeah. And we'll have more in the rest of the season to come, and everybody's got their play. And I th- that's one of my favorite parts. That's too much fun. Yeah. Well, obviously, we've got probably one of the most anticipated games of the year coming up this week. We're, uh, we're going to Little Rock Christian uh, to basically replay last year's championship game. Obviously, not a direct replay because we're, we've gained some players. We've lost some, and so have they. Uh, what, what are you thinking uh, was going to go on this Friday? What are you looking for? You know, it, it is anticipated. You called that right. I think much anticipated. You know, right now we're ranked one and they're ranked two. It probably should be – reverse because they're the current champion i believe you're one until somebody knocks you off and and uh but either way i think the one two thing made it a big deal it's always somewhat anticipated because it's both of us but both teams have good good players i mean we had a we had a our sophomore class moved up speaking about additions and uh, uh that's the only guys we've added and they and, and and you know we got joe hyman who's come in and done a really nice job for us we got a couple other sophomores you know lane harrison that's starting for us and, and done a nice job for us and then and then they've got several additions. They had some sophomores move up that are pretty good, and they had a couple transfer in. So you're right. There's been a couple of, of changes. They lost some really good seniors, you know, and uh, they lost Justice Hill, a couple other kids, and then and then we lost some meaningful seniors too, John David White and Hudson. Everybody thinks about, but man, there were so many more than that that we lost that mean a lot to us. But but overall, very anticipated for the fans, and and I think mo- the players look forward to this game too as a coach. Not so much because it's so intense and there's so many outside distractions and stuff. But overall, you know, when it's all over with, it makes for a great week for the kids, and that's what it's about. Sure. You mentioned Justice Hill, of course, graduated last year at Little Rock Christian. Uh, this year they have one quarterback that's got a great arm. They've got another quarterback that is is great on his feet. How do you anticipate to neutralize their offensive game? You know, we, we kind of have an idea of what they like to do with both, and you're right, the, the, the one kid, the Cooper kid, he's actually dad's a friend of one of our coaches. And uh, we got to see him in seven on seven, and, and you're right, he's more the pocket passer, field general guy that, that is going to lead him down the field by making reads and throwing balls. And then the other kid is a little like Justice. You know, he can throw the football, but he can run and hurt you a lot with his legs as well. So, so you know, it makes it a little tougher having to be ready for both. But overall, you know, it's football is football, and you got to get in there, and whoever's back there, you got to stop them. You mentioned getting a chance to see them in seven-on-seven seven this year, and that was a unique opportunity this year. Uh, does, does that – seeing a team play seven-on-seven, seven, does that carry over? Does that give you any insight into how they're going to play on the field for during the football season? You know, it does and it does, and it actually just accentuates things most of the time that you think about. I'm like, we know – that they've got a fantastic receiver named Hightower that, that did a great job and caught two unbelievable passes on us in the state championship game last year. And you look and you go, was that a one-game thing or is that a – then you look out here and you see him, everybody's playing in seven-on-seven seven, no matter what the quality level. He's doing the same things to them. You're like, okay, that accentuates he's a fantastic player. That wasn't a once-in-a-season anomaly by any stretch of the imagination. We already knew that, but that's what it does. It more just highlights – the things you're right on and uh, that you think you're right on and and know that we've got to pay special attention. Well, before we go any further, I'm going to thank our sponsor, Crown Trophy of Little Rock. Uh, If you're looking for trophies, obviously they're the place to go. But guess what? They also have drinkware, T-shirts, all types of things that you could give away as company swag or even as awards. If you have uh, employees that you want to give awards to or if you have students or athletes, They have everything that you need. Visit them online at crowntrophy.com and just select the location of Little Rock, Arkansas, and you'll get the best service available. Of course, a great uh, great sponsor. It's great to have them on board with us. I get all my plaques from Jenny for our athletic program at the end of the year banquets and stuff. We do our seven-on-seven trophies from there, and we've gotten a few other things from there too. But like you say, she's got everything. She absolutely does. So, again, visit them online, crowntrophy.com. 
Well, Coach, moving past next week, we're finally going to be back home after what seems like forever. Mm-hmm. It's uh, It's been, what, four weeks? Is that right? Four yeah, weeks? yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. So we'll be back home playing against Maumelle High School, hosting them here at uh, Joe Hatcher Stadium. That'll be exciting. What do you anticipate for the rest of the season looking forward? You know, it's funny that you say that. You talk about looking forward to the rest of the season. This game marks the halfway point right. of the season. It How fast has like that gone yeah. by? It just flies <laughs> by. And I keep wondering if it's, I'm getting older or if I'm getting dumber and things just hit me so fast. It just, you know, but, <laughs> but one of the two, but it does. We were talking about that with the kids yesterday. This is the halfway point, guys. Make sure you're taking time to enjoy, especially you seniors, maybe your last year ever of football, which is, you know, by percentage, most of their, you know, way more. You know, 99% of the kids are done this year. And uh, 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 so we look back on the season a little bit, but looking forward, you know, we hope that after this game, we hope we're 4-1, and one, and we hope we're sitting pretty as far as playoffs and home field advantage and get some more of those home games that we've missed uh, by scheduling earlier. And uh, uh, but, but this game Friday is really going to tell us where we need to, which direction we need to head. I mean, if, if we go out and play really well against a great team like this, then that tells us where we're at. we need to submit and keep honing and fine-tuning some of the things. If we don't, then we know as coaches we got to go back to the drawing board a little bit and try a different attack to get us ready for a big game because that's what we're going to have in the playoffs. Well, Coach, that's all the questions I have. Is there anything else you wanted to mention before we close out this week? No, just I, I hope the viewers watching – I said no, I guess, I guess yes. <laughs> uh, I, you know, I hope that the viewers watching – We've got a great game Friday night, and I know it's an intense rivalry, and I know it's a lot of a lot of things. But and their name's Little Rock Christian, and we're PA, and most of our most of our fans are good people. They have some religious affiliation, most of them, and when they don't, it's good people. Hope I hope the fans, the kids, are really good about enjoying the competitive nature and appreciating each other. I mean, for the years, I've been real impressed with the kids. I hope the parents do too. Take time instead of getting so involved in the intensity of the rivalry, you enjoy watching your kids play football on the field against another great team. Sure. And, and that's what I really hope comes out of this because this is the week I often say that a lot of times it's the kids teaching the adults instead of the adults teaching the kids. And I don't mean anything horrible by that. Right. I just know how caught up we get in it sometimes. And, and I hope we don't lose sight of that because it's, it's two great places. It's a great part of Little Rock, West Little Rock, with some great people in it. And I don't want that to get lost because in the end – we're getting a lot of attention on both sides. I mean, the, the media is going to be there. We're all setting the example for how high school sports should be and how it should be viewed. And I, and I want everybody to remember that, and I need to remember that, and so does everybody else. You know, a lot of the, a lot of the players, a lot of the students in both schools, they see each other around uh, the community. They, they've gone to camps together for years, and so they're all very good friends. And so I think you're right. I think that that really kind of reins them in on the, on the uh, rivalry side of things yeah. so that they keep it – you know, fairly tame. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, as adults, I think we kind of get a little carried away sometimes. Yeah, they want to beat each other, but they remember they played together in Little League Baseball. Right. And they, and they, and they played together in Little League Soccer. And, right. And, you know, and they still do. It's funny. They still hang out together on the weekends sure. and talk to each other and some really good friends. There's some definitely some boyfriend-girlfriend relationships oh, sure. that, that cross that. And, and, and I like that and I appreciate that. And, and as I get older, I realize that, that you know, we've got to remember that and, 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 uh, and, and I appreciate the kids for being able to lead us in that direction. Well, Coach, thanks so much, as always. And uh, thanks for watching. Again, don't forget to hit like down below and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss further future episodes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Carroll. For Coach Kelly, we'll see you next time.